We're going to jump down here and we're going to grab this one down here, third generation educational use of computer games. Notice this one is coming from the IT University of Copenhagen, Denmark. Okay. All right, so let's come back over here and see what we need for our Word document. So let's go New, and let's go Journal Article. Okay, so who is the author of our journal article? So we're going to jump back over here. Oops, grab the web page. The author is this guy right here, Simon. So we're going to copy that. Go back over here to Word. Paste it right there. Now we're going to cut the first name out of there. And we're going to put it last name first, first name last. So we'll just paste that over there. Okay, so what is the title now? Jump back to our journal article. Title is right up here at the top. So we're going to copy that third generation educational use of computer. Game. So right click on it, copy, jump over here to a Word document, I'm paste it right there. Okay, what is the journal name? Journal name is the Journal of Educational Multimedia and Hypermedia. So I'm going to copy that, jump over here, I'm going to paste it right in here. Okay, what was the year this was written? 2007, right there. So come back over here, type in 2007, and let's look at the page number. So I'll we'll jump back over here. Okay, this says page 263, right here gives the whole page range 263 to 281. Jump back over here. 263 through 281. I'll hit all right, so now we got all of our uh, books and and information that we're going to use that we've got that we used for our information that's going to go into this report. So go ahead and hit close. Okay, so now we're ready to insert them into our text. Okay, so as you're typing along and you want to use a quote from a website, okay, you're going to, of course, put your quote in quotes, something like this, okay, and then just to the left of the period, you want to hit your space, and we're going to hit, uh, click on the insert citation. Now, from the website, that's this one down here, okay, so it puts it in the format, the MLA format that we're looking for. All right, now let's do another quote from a book. Okay, so the left of the period, we're going to insert a citation. Our book was Gene Andrews. There you go, just like that. And we're going to do a quote from an interview. So the left of the period, go insert citation or interview was this person. Okay, so you see how this is putting it in there? All right, the next one was a, oh, let's say um, a quote from a journal article. So the left of the period, insert it, come towards our journal article, that guy right there. Alright, so you know this is going to be spread throughout your document, your report, your research paper, and you can use uh, references more than once throughout, throughout the thing, just depending on what you, you're, you're trying to, to convince the reader of. Okay, but you want to remember these journal or these articles, these web pages and stuff like this are all proof to what you're trying to state, what your statement is. You're trying to prove your statement by looking at other people's research. 
okay so here's the other people's research your research this is what you've come up with okay so now we need to make our list of works cited or our bibliography page so on our very last page of the, the report we want to come back here and notice it says bibliography right there we hit the drop down arrow we can either select it so it's called bibliography or works cited we're going to click works cited and look it even did the hand dent for us so that's really cool notice it's got everything in the correct fat that MLA is looking for if we were doing it in APA style it would be a little bit different in Chicago style it would be just a little bit different okay so but we have our authors up here at the beginning of the slide because there was no author to this one now we know that our MLA standard says we need to make this double space so we're going to come back over here to home I'm going to switch this to double space and there we go so now it is in the correct format okay so as you're going along and doing your report you know you realize you forgot to add in one of your one of your resources okay so we're going to do oh I don't know illustration from college calendar okay so <clears throat> you want to give credit to that person right there so we want to come up here go back to our references we can click on insert citation but it's not in this list so we're going to add a new source okay this is where you can go and add the new source okay let's see what else let's click on manage sources when you click on manage sources it shows what's on your computer already and see this college planner we don't have over here in our current list let's go ahead and add it so we're going to copy that over notice it sticks it right there and we'll hit close now we hit space and we're going to insert our college planner there it is Okay. Now let's look down here on our works cited page. It didn't show up in our works cited page. We want to update. If we click on one of the words up here like works cited, you notice it says update citation of bibliography. So you click that, give it a second, and there it is. College Planner 2009. Now I did put it everything back into single space, but we know how to fix that. We'll just come back over here and select 2.0. Now we have double space. <coughs> okay so here's your list it puts everything in alphabetical order <clears throat> it is following the MLA standard so this is what you can use as a as a help to make sure you have your information in your report the way that it's required by the MLA standards <clears throat>